lab guy here. This is the second demonstration of this steerable photomultiplier tube being operated as an image dissector. This particular tube is not designed for that function per se. This tube was typically used to scan for stars. They were used in star trackers for telescope positioning and also satellite positioning. They would actually install these tubes in satellites. They have a special version of it which doesn't have the uh, Bakelite base and in fact may not even possess the glass envelope for weight savings because once it's in space there's no air out there and the tube operates just fine. And being a dissector style tube with no heating element, there's no heated cathode in these. The tube is considered extremely high reliability. If you compare it to a charge coupled device chip, silicon chip, in the same application, this device is extremely radiation resistant where a solid state chip can be knocked out by a particularly strong pulse of uh, gamma rays or even x-rays. So that's the intended function. The tube is plugged into a base which contains a string of resistors and a voltage divider network providing the correct voltages to all of the static elements in this tube. The tube is not driven with any active waveforms at all, just DC. The deflecting coil is two uh, electromagnets that are in uh, a 90 degree relationship or a quadrature relationship. And uh, this yoke is 50 ohms per winding, which makes it very convenient to drive from my audio generator with uh, triangle waves meaning that the sampling point on the image plane will move back and forth with no blanking periods at all. Continuous video output. The other thing is that this tube apparently cannot be scanned very quickly. I've discovered that upper limit on the deflecting coils of about 500 cycles per second, which is why my frame refresh rate is so low. With the uh, line rate, with the line scan stuck at a 500 hertz rate, I have to lower the vertical scanning rate to a point where I get 80 or 100 lines on the screen and at that point vertical is pretty slow at around 2 or 3 hertz and so that's why it's uh, got that sweeping action. Uh, for an image source I have a piece of a photographic slide just lying on top of the photo cathode. To get the picture that you see on the oscilloscope I shine uh, my flashlight through the through the top of that slide and then the output of the photomultiplier tube is applied directly to the intensity input on the back of the oscilloscope. The other jack on this base is where I inject minus 1000 volts to uh, power the tube it draws virtually no current the uh, the resistance of the divider chain is extremely high and in fact with a design like that you would think that a naked setup like this in open air would pick up a lot of noise and it probably does if you were looking at extremely low signal levels but I'm shining so much light on this tube that the output is is literally volts um, this would not be its normal operating mode. It would probably be run at an at a illumination level producing peak voltages for white of around a tenth of a volt or even lower and then using external amplification. A uh, tenth of a volt coming out of a camera tube is, is Hoover Dam as far as noise. Uh, it's a very strong signal um, and and ready for the last stage of a very easy amplification because it doesn't require much more. So this is the current test setup. The, uh, the X and the Y inputs of the scope are driven with two audio signal generators. Uh, conveniently they have 50 ohm output impedance. The yoke is 47 ohms at 47 ohms and then it's connected to the oscilloscope operating in X and Y mode. Um, I played with the output levels from the generators to get the scan size correct on the deflection coil and tube combination 
and then use the uh, the oscilloscopes normal gain controls to give me control over this of the image size on the scope because the 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 yoke must be scanned at the right level to produce uh, the proper sweep area and then the oscilloscope is the odd man out who gets to uh, adjust to whatever those levels happen to be. Here we are scanning the slide again. In all my experimentation I've managed to uh, turn the scan sideways but it, it really doesn't matter. Um, you can see the flashlight moving around on the surface of the tube but what you're looking at is the take up reel on a, on a, it's actually the feed reel being inserted into the Ampex Insta Video tape recorder. This was a 35 millimeter slide that I bought on eBay. I'm uh, using it as my test pattern. So that is a viable image that we can see. We're scanning at about four cycles per second and um, which with the two-way nature of the triangle sweep we're getting um, eight scans per second I believe somewhere in there six to eight scans per second I don't I don't think my audio generators dials are crystal accurate so um, you can also see that there's maybe 40 lines uh, in this image it would be 80 lines Let, allow me to demonstrate that this is what the output of the tube is actually looking like because of that one miswired axis. In this case, it uh, would be the horizontal axis, but my picture's turned 90 degrees. I've changed the gain of the scope so that we see the entire output of that signal. So, you know, what a funky thing to have happen to the deflection yoke. But if we adjust it, so that we only look at one half of it we can see a, a very recognizable image there uh, you will also note that it's scan line gap scan line gap scan line gap everywhere there's a gap on this side there's a line on the other side on the on the other raster and vice versa so pretty messed up so uh, in the next video hopefully I can demonstrate that working with a uh, with a non-defective deflection coil if I can find one that will work. I am not really too motivated to try to build my own deflection coil. So that's the status of the image dissector camera uh, Mark II I guess. My original image dissector camera has died on the vine. I need to return to that one of these days and work on it also. Enjoy the image dissector camera output. Lab guy out!